Hi guys, my name is Ecat and today I'm going to teach you stage remora. I'm going to give credits to Jay Fry and one day I'll tell you the story of our friendship. But for today, pick up a deck of cards and let's get started. You're going to start from the mechanics grip in a position where you're going to split the deck in three packets. So this is what it looks like. My index finger from the left hand is going to pull the bottom packet. The index finger is going to pull the top packet. And this is done simultaneously. As you create the three packets, you're going to rotate your right hand downwards and you're going to grab onto that middle packet. This will remind you of the Sybil, but the Sybil starts in Z grip. So this is three packets. You rotate your hand downwards and your middle and thumb are going to grip that packet. You're going to clear and bring those packets over like this. This is going to be a bit of a more advanced tutorial because this is a display slash two-handed cut. So I will have to go a little bit quicker because there are a lot of steps. But when you reach here, and let me show you once again, you grab, you clear, and you're going to just grab it here and clip. What this allows you to do is to then use your thumb to pivot, create this form of triangle, and extend. It might remind you of the worm motion. Worm is a tutorial, a tutorial, a move by Dan and Dave. So here I'm here and I've done that and that's my first display, if you will. From the beginning, split in three, grip, bring it here. And then you have from the right hand possibility to grip another packet. You're going to do this almost rock and roll move and, or sign and you're going to grip another packet and you're going to extend again. And now this is the most complicated part. You're going to use your right hand's index and middle finger to grip yet another packet. Here if you're fingers are not long enough or big enough, it might be an issue for you, but you can always bend that packet or card and it'll be okay. So no excuses still. And now you can display again. The goal is actually to show as many packets as possible in this display. Once you've done that, you're going to cut yet another packet here that's held between your right thumb and pinky and you're going to bring it to your chin. Now, when I position it on my chin, I make sure it's not right straight on the chin. I make sure it's on the side so that I can smile, I can talk if need, need be. That's why I call it stage remora. This is a move I perform live. So here you can see I have freedom to move. And then this allows me to cut yet another packet and display. And you can see how many cards are in the display. And I usually bring the display downwards like this. It's up to your personal preference. If you like it this way, display it this way. But I prefer it just like this. And then to close, I'm just bringing the packets together. I'm doing a scissor cut here. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to teach you a scissor cut. One of my favorite cuts. And then I just gradually remove tension from the cards that I'm holding so that nothing falls. You're going to split the packet in three. Your right hand moves downwards. You are gripping that packet, clearing it and making a triangle. Cutting again with your index finger from your right hand so that you can extend. Gripping another packet and extending further using your index and middle 
to come over here. Grip one card if you wish. If you feel tension, you can bend the card slightly. Use your pinky from the right hand to cut yet another packet. That's this one over here. Be careful, this is where it gets fragile. And now you extend again, everything rotates on your thumb from the right hand. It seems complicated, guys, but it's really not that complicated. After you've done that, you're going to bring everything up to your chin. So from where the pinky was holding, on the side of your chin again, and now you're going to cut from that base that you had in the beginning with your pinky another packet and you extend. This is the side that I display. If you'd like, you could also display this side. It's really personal preference. So afterwards, I close, scissor cut. I pick up the packet from my chin first, then the one is fragile here. And here I just grip it this way. And that's how you do the move. Here's the final walkthrough. Cut into three packets. As you're here, you're already prepping to cut. You display. You're gripping between middle and pinky. Display. You come over here. You grab one card or a packet. Display. Then you come all the way here. You're going to split right in the middle. And you could display, but remember, this will come up to your chin. So you can skip this step of displaying again. And you can straight go to the chin, go to the side of your chin. And then here, your pinky cuts one more packet. Make sure there is cards to cut here. <laughs> and final display. I just rotate my hands downwards. Close here. Scissor cut, pick up this packet, this packet, that packet, do a little hinge move, and you're done. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this move. Let me know in the comments below if you will do it, if you'll learn it, and let me know what move you want me to teach you next. Thanks so much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you very soon.